Hey guys, welcome to the Bootstrap tutorial series. My name is Ripon Dutto. Today I am going to discuss about the typography. Okay, so in the Bootstrap we have some default setting like you know font size which is 14 pixel and line height which is you know 1.428 okay so this is our basic template for this tutorial typography let's see mm, view in browser okay so inspect and I want to see the body you can see that font size is 14 pixels okay and line height is 1.428 okay so this will be applied in the body and all paragraphs text okay so let's go to the code first of all I want to show you some what um heading tag let's say h1 heading okay so if we run and we can see that this is our h1 heading okay and we can do one thing we can you know we can add the container which is also a bootstrap class now let's see okay so let's say heading text and what so if we apply heading 2 is to heading text then let's see okay so we have heading 1 and heading 2 bootstrap has h1 h2 h3 h4 s5 and h6 um what the classes even we can use a paragraph let's say headline okay see if we render this html page this is our paragraph as i said before that we have a class called h1 so if we add h1 then you can see that this is now same as h1 we can inspect the element and see that h1 has 36 pixel this one this p tag also has 36 pixel so that means what we can use h1 tag i mean h1 class or h2 up to a six I mean if you need in some scenario you can use those heading classes and we can use let's say a small okay so you can see that now this is a, a small font Oops. okay so this is also coming from the bootstrap bootstrap you know um modifying these uh, small tags attributes css attributes even we can test it separately let's say we have a span tag okay if we add a span then what will be a small same but we can do one thing we can add a class name called a small then let's see same thing that means what we have a, a small plus and what let's say mark so we can use mark same way you can see the mark is now marked it has a background color also okay even same way we can use span 
and we can use a class name mark and let's see same so we can see that if we go to the h1 you can see the mark mark has a mark class from bootstrap and it is the background color okay hmm so we can even use you know delete tag so delete element del this is deleted okay or a straight row as you can as you can use as this is also deleted let's see okay now we can go for i mean text alignment okay so let's say we have one p tag which is for example lab text or you can say lab aligned text okay similarly we also have right aligned text and center align text now if we render this html you can see that we have three paragraph but i want this paragraph in the left side so what will be the class name class name is text dash left so we can use for right text dash right and let's see you can see that right align text is now in the right side and left align is in the left side and what else we have another class which is text dash center let's see yep so we can even use these classes for your alignment if you i mean so it is more easier to you know use it but if you want to make this alignment by css class you have to write you know couple of lines so instead of you adding those couple of lines you can just simply add the bootstrap classes now let's go for transformation class we have some transformation classes which is basically you know text lowercase uppercase or capitalize hmm so we can add similarly some text let's say lowercase text okay then we have another text which is uppercase text then let's say we have another text which is capitalized text okay so yep so if we render without applying any bootstrap classes you can see that we have this paragraph now i want to apply bootstrap class like this is text lowercase okay then let's see then it will transform the text all into lowercase you can see l becomes now a small l similarly we can use here one more class for the uppercase which is called text uppercase and you can see all are now uppercase text and we have one more class for 
capitalize C-A-P-A-T-I-T-A-L-I-G-E capitalize so that a small t it becomes capital T capitalized T means all war should start with a capital letter let's say we have C as capital then what will be oops that C is now you can see that capital it will apply all the first character of every word so whenever you need this I mean this feature you can use it easily and we can see one more put a strip plus which is you know abbreviation okay so if we want to show the abbreviation in a tooltip we can use abbreviate um, attribute so how can we add it a b b r abbreviate and i want to say that this is cell so what we need to do is we can add title attribute okay and let's see what it is coming you can see that this, this is a attribute okay so, so we can apply this attribute hmm where we can apply this attribute into a m let's say this is a we can say phone number okay See, this is a phone number so we can use this attribute or abbreviation in the address if you have address I say address so in the address what you have you have for example a strong that means a bold name for me I am writing my name then what then let's say abbreviate title phone number and my phone number is something like that I want to say this is not a real number <laughs> okay so yeah now let's see yep so this is a phone number so it is coming in the first line so what we can do it we can add here break line is yeah okay so these are all basically HTML element but you know put a strap um, updated this element with their own classes or sometimes you can use bootstrap bootstraps classes now let's go for quotation if you want to show some code how can we use it quotation hmm there are one quotation which is called block code okay so block code is something like that we have a p tag let's say which is I'm just this is a you know block code I am trying to share my knowledge with you you can learn from it 
and share these tutorials for others <laughs> just a demo text okay so let's say from here now under this email and you can see that what we have yep so it has something you can see that is I mean CSS design so if we don't have if we don't use the bootstrap then what would be the scenario now I am just commenting the bootstrap link when I want to see you can see all are now you know without any what a style except HTML's default style even it has you can see this one we don't have any style for it but if we use the bootstrap then you can see that it has a nice bar left bar I mean left border and you this is your what your quotation your code and even we can add some other thing um, let's say footer in the block we, in the block we can add footer in the footer we can say that this is by me yep so this code or this text is written by me so it is very easy to use it even we can align um, this quotation into right align so what we have to do is we have to do only one thing which is we have to use one class name the class name is block code dash reverse then let's see you can see now your quotation is now in the right aligned in this tutorial I want to show you one more class which is you know keyboard shortcut or any code hmm. let's say um, I want to display a shortcut code which is you um, I mean control C control C is the copy right in the Windows so what can we do we can say how to copy how to copy a text let's say press what need to press keyboard you can see keyboard control ctrl plus c then let's see you can see control plus c and it has a nice style i hope you enjoyed this lesson at least you learned something you know if you are not familiar with bootstrap this class will help you to enhance your css design okay and keep practice and if you follow this tutorial and if you write code according to my you know tutorial you will get at least some lesson so thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you have any question or any doubt please write in the comment box and if you would like to get more tutorials please subscribe this channel and please quote your comment in the comment box thank you